NASA's 5,800 pounds of space junk was supposed to orbit Earth for a couple of years before burning up harmlessly in the atmosphere. That did not go as planned, and a Florida family received an unintended delivery from the International Space Station on March 8. A 1.6-pound metal alloy object left a sizable hole from the roof through the subflooring of the Otero family's Naples home while their son was inside. According to the law firm representing the family, no one was hurt, but the family's lawyer, Mike Nguyen Worthy, said, A near-miss situation such as this could have been catastrophic. An external pallet packed with old nickel-hydrogen batteries was intended to harmlessly burn up in Earth's atmosphere, according to NASA, but it did not. The remnant of the discarded pallet of batteries, which power the space station, burned to an object 4 inches in height and 1.6 inches in diameter, NASA said in an April 15 press release. It was expected to orbit Earth for two to four years before burning up harmlessly in the atmosphere. Astronomer Jonathan McDowell posted on X about the space trash's entry into Earth's atmosphere on March 8, along with its projected path and the possibility it could hit Fort Myers. Alejandro Otero responded, Looks like one of these pieces missed Fort Myers and landed in my house in Naples, along with pictures of the damage and object. Otero's posts on X have since been deleted. NASA did not return Fox News Digital's request for comment, but Otero's lawyer responded in an email. She clarified that there was no lawsuit yet and hopes it does not rise to that level. We submitted claims to NASA for the Oteros, and if NASA is unable to resolve the claims to the Otero's satisfaction, then they would have the right to consider filing a lawsuit in federal court, she said. This is an opportunity for NASA to set a precedent as to what responsible, safe, and sustainable space operations ought to look like, according to Worthy. Space debris is a real and serious issue because of the increase in space traffic in recent years, the lawyer said. If the incident had happened overseas and someone in another country were damaged by the same space debris as in the Otero's case, the U.S. would have been absolutely liable to pay for those damages. She implored NASA and the U.S. government to follow the same legal principle. The piece that hit Otero's home was analyzed at the Space Agency's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. NASA specialists use engineering models to estimate how objects heat up and break apart during atmospheric reentry, according to NASA. Those models are regularly updated after situations like this where debris survives reentry and crashes to the ground. The International Space Station will perform a detailed investigation of the jettison and reentry analysis to determine the cause of the debris survival and to update modeling and analysis, as needed, NASA said on April 15. NASA remains committed to responsibly operating in low Earth orbit and mitigating as much risk as possible to protect people on Earth when space hardware must be released.